Uh, all right, guys. So today's training is all about how to effectively close on the buyer after you show them the home, right? So you book the appointment, you go out there and show them a home. At the end of that showing, there's that transition piece, right? Where you got to take it to the next step, whether you're moving them forward, you know, to a consult, you're moving them forward on that property, you're setting up the next appointment to go see more properties. We need to role play that part because I see a lot of people booking appointments right now and you guys are going out there and showing homes to clients, but are you effective in turning it from a showing to an actual deal, right? So that little piece right there is very crucial because you don't want to just be a door opener where you just go out there and open the door and they look at the property and then they say, okay, you know, I'll let you know, I'll call you back. And you kind of let them go, right? You have to remember that the goal after the appointment, after the home showing is to take it to the next step, whatever that step may be. So after you show a home, guys, to a client, you go show the home. There should be three possible outcomes that happen after. There's three things. There's one of three that are going to happen after, right? If you kind of sum it, sum it down. What are, the th what are some of the things that will happen? You show the home. What's next? Let's go over these. Someone just raise their hand or unmute themselves. What would be the next step? What's one possible next step? Offer or just ask. Um, so, ask. I think it's because you guys are all in the same room. Um, all right, so Alessandra, I think you said write an offer, right? Is that correct? Thumbs up? Yeah, if they like it. Okay. So you show the home, if they like the property, one of the next steps is we're writing an offer on this property, right? Uh, Dewey, what's another possible next step? I would definitely ask if they like the property and book an appointment for like a meeting, like maybe a quick chat. So an appointment for like a consult? Something like that, yeah. Buyer consult. Okay. So that's one of the next steps, right? You show them the home and now you want to take them to a buyer consultation or maybe a, a consultation with the lender, right? But basically you want to get them into a meeting, right? Where you're going to meet with them and you're going to go over the process or go over the lending or maybe go over their criteria, but you're going to have a formal meeting with them, right? Some sort of consultation. So that's one of the options, right? It's either they want to move forward with this property or you take them to a consultation, that's the next step. What's another third step that can happen? What if they don't like that property? You send them other properties. So send them other properties, but basically you wanna go show them some other properties, right? So it's important to understand that, right? Because when we go out to show a client a property, we need to already know that there's three possible objectives that we're going after. It isn't like we just go out there and then we kind of leave it up in the air. You're either trying to hit one, two, or three, right? Or a combination, right? You're either trying to get them to move forward on that property if they like it, or you're trying to take them to a buyer consultation or a lending consultation, or if they don't like that property, you're trying to go show them some other properties so that you can move the ball forward, right? It may sound really simple, but some of us are not doing that, right? So it's important that we train everybody that when you go show a home, your goal is option A, B, or C. It's one of those. Nothing else, right? Because that's the next step in the process, right? The first step was booking the appointment. Second step is meeting them at the property. The next step is we're moving forward or we're doing a consultation or we're going to go look at more properties. All right, give me a thumbs up if we're clear. Those are the three possible outcomes, right? Three possible outcomes. So whatever, if you're doing anything else beside that, stop what you're doing and go back to this. It's A, B, or C. That's the only things you should be trying to do with these clients, right? All right. So I'm going to give you a strategy on how we can do that and how we can move forward. So I'm going to pull up some notes. Uh,
So what we want to do, here's an effective strategy that I've learned from some of my coaches on how to get people to move forward is you have to set up the scenario already from the beginning. So what we're going to do is this right here is what we're looking at. We want to set it up, set up the scenario as, hey, Mr. Buyer, when I go out there, when we go see this property, or let's say you get to the property and you're showing them the home, you want to let them know this is how we're going to grade if this is something we should move forward on, right? It's called like the scale of one to 10. Because what you want to do is you want to tell the client that there's a goal in mind, right? You don't want to just leave it open. You want to say, hey, we're going to look at this property today. Hey, welcome to the property. Let's say you're out there. Hey, Mr. Client, Mr. Buyer, this is, this is what I found most effective when I work with buyers and we're showing homes is we want to come in here with a strategy, right? And what we use is called the scale of one to 10 strategy. And it's very simple. As we're looking through this home and as we're touring this property, I want you to mentally give this property a score on a one to 10 basis, right? A 10 out of 10, that's like your dream home, right? It's the most perfect home that you've ever seen. It hits every single thing. It's in your price point. Like those are rare. Those are like the unicorn, right? It's rare to find a 10 out of 10, right? So you got to let them know that, hey, when we go out there, scale of one to 10, a 10 is something that there's very rare. It hits every single box. It's in the right neighborhood, the right price, the right, um, you know, layout. It's rare that we find those, but once in a while we might. So I want you to think about that as we're touring this property. A nine would be something that, is pretty close to perfect. Like it has pretty much everything you need. Maybe there's a thing here or two, but it's it's pretty damn close to perfect, right? An eight means it's like, it's a really good property. Maybe there's a couple things that you would want different, but it actually checks off most of the boxes. And then a seven may be like, hey, it checks off most of the boxes, but I may have to compromise on a couple of things, right? Maybe I might have to give up the extra bedroom or maybe it has a smaller yard than I want, but it's in a good neighborhood. It meets most of the criteria, right? So what you're trying to do for these clients is you're trying to let them know anything that's a seven or above because of the nature of the market and how competitive it is, I think we, I would recommend we move forward with going after any properties that are a seven or above. If it's below a seven, then we should, as soon as we walk in and you know it's below a seven, we should not look at the property. We need to go look at something else. But I want you to understand the psychology behind this. What you are doing is you are creating the rules of what's going to happen when you go meet that client. Instead of just saying like, all right, check the property out. All right, what do you think? Right? What do you think leaves it really open-ended where there's not really a strategy? But when you tell someone, hey, we're going to use like this grading system and anything that's a seven or above, we're going to move forward on because that means it hits most of the boxes. That means it meets most of your criteria. Maybe you compromise on one or two things here or there. But if it's, a, if it's at least a seven out of 10, we should definitely write an offer because it's really competitive right now. And if it's a seven out of 10, it's probably going to be a seven out of 10 for most people as well, right? So there may be some competition. If it's below that, I want you to immediately tell me, hey, this property is below a seven. Let's not even move forward. Let's go Let's go back to the drawing board and look somewhere else. Rob, you had something. Yeah, a quick question, Kika, just to get your thoughts on it. Um, should you ever change a prospect's mind from a seven to an eight? Should you ever put your input to say, hey, listen, they say this is a seven. Should you be selling it to say, uh, to try to move it up to an eight, nine or 10? No, I wouldn't do that. I would just set the rules and the parameters and then you're going to get their feedback at the end, right? So in the beginning, when you meet with them, you're setting it up, right? Hey guys, this is these are, these are the rules that we're going to play by, right? And this is why we do this because we want to make sure that when we identify a property that meets most of your needs, that property may be gone next week, right? There may be multiple offers. So we want to make sure we move fast. Otherwise, as more offers come in, the price only goes up right? And you're explaining to them, like, my job is to make sure I find you a property that you need. 
make sure you're informed, make sure we give you great service and make sure you get the property at the best price and terms possible, right? So we wanna make sure that we know like the game plan. This is a game plan going in. Now, most agents guys don't do this. So if they tour properties with other agents, what most agents do is they open the door, they let the client take a look and then at the end they go, so what'd you think? And they kind of let the client dictate the whole entire pace, right? And the reason why that doesn't, is not a good thing to do is because if you're letting the client dictate the pace, then who's the one that's leading in this relationship? The client or you, right? You want to be the one that's a leader because you want to be, you want to look like the authority to the client. You want to come off confident. You want to let them know you're the professional. This is how we've been able to help so many people find you know, the best home possible is because we have proven strategies, right? And when you talk like this to your client, like the way I'm, I'm saying it, you now look like a high level agent who's an advisor, who has strategy behind it. And it's not just someone that says that opens the door for them, right? And this may be different from what you're already doing. So I encourage you to try this out and get some actual feedback, right? because it's going to, it's going to position you a lot different. We don't want to go out there and the client kind of looks at you as just like someone that opened the door and like, yeah, I don't really see a lot of value in you. So you want to separate yourself from the competition, right? If you're doing everything, the same thing that everybody else is doing, then there's no difference between you and the other agent down the street. They might as well go with someone else or maybe someone who has more experience or someone they know, but when you're different, and you have proven strategies and you're an authority, they see you as more valuable. Does that make sense? Okay, really quick before I move on. Questions, comments, feedback. Do you need me to explain this part or why we do this? Do you need to explain a little more in detail. So I got a question. So let's say if um, they're the buzz on their car, so they're like more authoritative already, or like they're kind of calling the shots. How would you kind of bring it back in your court and then just kind of become the lead on it? Um, you're gonna to want to basically position it the same way, but remember, at the end of the day, you're telling the client, Hey, it's your it's up to you to choose and up to you to grade this property. What I'm doing is I want to offer advice because this is what works, right. So if we approach it in this way, we're going to, we're not going to waste time looking at properties that don't even meet your criteria, right? It's, it's, when you have someone who's trying to be more authoritative and more lead, they don't want to waste time, right? They don't want to go out and, and waste time on stuff. So I would go back to them with like, Hey, the reason we do this is so we don't waste your time. We don't look at properties that don't even fit into what we want. We, we have a, a good strategy and then put that back into that, put that back on them. That is what you want, right, Mr. Buyer? Right? I'm assuming you want to make this as smooth a process as possible. You don't want to waste time. You want to make sure you find the right property that fits all your needs. That is what you want, right? And then they're going to say yes, because of course, that's what every buyer wants. And then you're going to say, awesome. This is why we do it this way. Does that make sense, Juan? Okay. Uh, okay. Next part of it. Share my screen again. So we talked about the three outcomes, right? There's going to be three outcomes on every situation. They're either going to move forward with this property, right? If it's a seven or higher, right? You're going to go take them to see more properties, right? If it's below a seven, if it's below a seven, then we shouldn't waste no more time in this property, right? Like we're just sitting there wasting time. That means we got to go look at more property or we need to understand your criteria more. I'm going to share these notes with you guys, just FYI, but go ahead and take notes because it helps you remember more. And I'll share the copy of these notes. Now, the clients that maybe it's just their first time looking at a property and they don't have any clue as to what they want or or they don't know how the prop how the process works or they're a first time buyer and this is their very first time touring then you're always going to want to um, offer a buyer consultation right you want to get them on some sort of consultation 
because that's going to inform them, you know, of what's going on with the process. Okay, and then what I always recommend, guys, at the end of your show, and we're going to role play this in a second. At the end, right? Instead of asking, hey, what do you think about the property? Because remember, sometimes you guys are meeting clients. Let me unshare this real quick. Sometimes you guys are meeting clients for the first time, right? It's a Zillow Flex call. You go out there and you meet them for the first time. So you, you have only one shot to make a good impression on them, right? So a strategy that we, we do is we do a quick, like mini consultation with them, a two minute, you know, just to quickly show them like who we are, see what they're about, quickly tell them about the market so that they see why they need to move forward with us, why they need to go to the next, to the next step, why they need to go look at more properties with us or why they need to jump on a consultation or why they need to move forward with this property, right? So at the end, instead of just saying, so what do you think? You want to say, okay, great. We've toured the property really quick. I just wanted to, you know, bring you up to speed on what's happening right now, who we are and learn a little bit more about you. Right. So you're going to quickly tell them about you, right? Hey, me and my team, we've been in the business for over 20 years. We have over 500 five-star reviews. I just want to let you know that you're dealing with a team that's really reputable. We're one of Zillow's premier agents. Um, my goal is to really give you the best service, the best advice, um, to have you be one of our next five-star reviews and make sure that you're informed throughout the process, right? So I just want to quickly tell you about who I am and, and why I'm out, what I'm out here doing and, and my value that we're going to bring to the table. We've worked with hundreds and hundreds of buyers just like yourself. And, you know, we've been able to generate over 500 five-star reviews. So you're saying that like in one or two sentences, right? You're quickly telling them, the highlights of why they want to work with you. And then you want to ask them, hey, so what do you guys know about the market, right? What's been your experience so far? Have you guys toured other homes? Have you submitted offers? Where are you at in the process, right? And they may say, hey, yeah, we've looked at some other homes or we've talked to other agents or we're brand new. This is our first time. But it's important that you understand who you're working with because then you'll know like what stuff to spend more time on, right? If they're brand, brand new, then you're going to want to more push for a consultation, right? It's going to be more valuable to say, hey, this is why we should meet. We're going to go over the process. We're going to make sure you're informed because since you're brand new, you want to know exactly what you're getting yourself into. And we want to make sure that you're fully informed. If it's someone who's already bought multiple homes and you're trying to push a buyer consultation, you're going to have a disconnect there, right? Because they're like, hey, I already know everything, right? I've already put offers, you know? So now you got to kind of more go, well, hey, let's look at next steps then, right? Is this a property that we, you know, out of one out of 10, do we want to move forward with this property, right? Is it a seven or higher? If it's not, then we need to go look at some, some other homes, right? And you want to quickly tell them about the market. Hey, let me quickly tell you about the market, you know, what, what we've seen in the last six months was the market was slowing down more in favor of buyers. What we're seeing today after the new year is that the rates have gone down a little bit and now buyers are coming out and now we're seeing multiple offers on properties, right? Which means that if you see a home that you like and it's a seven or higher, we got to act fast because that home may not be available, you know, next week, Right. And you could tell them like, hey, you know, we, we just got an offer accepted when there was 12 offers. We've seen different areas where there's multiple offers. So you're doing all of this, guys, in like five minutes, right? Because it's not a formal consultation. It's a quick like driveway consultation or it's a quick like in the kitchen while you're there talking to them. But what that does is that tells the client, okay, this is someone that I need to continue working with. This is someone that I need to continue talking to. So then when you tell them, hey, let's move forward with go seeing more property or let's get on a consultation with the lender or let's uh, let's meet and go over this property so we can write an offer. Now they're confident in why they need to meet with you, right? Instead of like you just show up, you show them the home and say, all right, guys, let's write an offer. And they're like, well, I don't really know you yet, right? I don't know how confident I am in you. 
So by you just spending two to five minutes of just quickly telling them who you are, who we are, you know, what our goal is, and then asking them about their experience, you know, and then also, you know, telling them quickly about the market, you already elevate yourself, right? Because most agents are not doing this, right? So let me recap. You get to the property. When you're going to show the property, you set the rules. Hey, guys, nice to meet you. We're going to take a look at this property. I just want to tell you the way I work and my team works. We want to make sure that we're efficient. We want to make sure that we give you the best service. What we always like to do is we always like to rate properties on a scale of one to 10, right? A 10 is like the perfect property, has all your needs. There's We're not really going to see many of those because those are rare. That it hits every single box. But if it's a seven, eight, or a nine, that means it meets most of your criteria. Maybe you compromise here and there, but it that means that property can really work for you. So we only want to spend time looking at properties that are a seven or higher. And if it's not a seven or higher, it's best to not even waste time in looking at a property that's gonna that's not gonna meet any of your criteria. Right? If it's a seven or higher, I would highly advise you to move forward because right now we're seeing a lot of competition right in the market all right now let's go ahead and tour the property so now you walk in you tour the property you build rapport you talk to them right you do all that good stuff you you find that commonalities between you guys and then at the end of the tour you do your quick two to five minute kind of summary kind of quick consultation where you tell them about you your team you know what you're here to do for them ask them about themselves Tell them about the market really quick. And then you're going to say, hey, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate this property? Right? And now at that point, what you've done is you've set the stage for them. You let them know the rules that we're playing by. You've toured the home. You built some rapport with them. You show, you show them value at the end of telling them who you are, who our team is, why we're the best to work with. You've asked them about them. Now, when you make a recommendation, if it's a seven or higher, hey, if this is a seven or higher, great. What I think we should do now is we should actually set up a consultation to go over this property and see what it looks like to make an offer. Or we should set up a buyer consultation. Or if it's a seven or lower, hey, if this is, if this is not at least a seven or higher, we need to go look at some more property and you're pushing for the next appointment. You're going for the next appointment. All right, I'm going to stop there because I want to make sure I don't lose you guys. Um, questions, comments, concerns? Raise your hand if you think this is like a lot of information. It's like, oh, I don't know if I can remember all that. Maybe, okay. Raise your hand if you're like, no, nah, I, I think I can handle that. I think I could do that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of the training. We got about 20 minutes left till 1230. We're going to now role play this, right? So we're going to role play two things. We're going to role play the beginning part when you meet with them and you're setting the rules of how we're going to grade this property. And then we're going to role play the second half at the end, after you showed the property, where well, you're doing your quick little consultation, right? You're doing your quick little two, two to three minute kind of summary of who we are, what we're doing. And then you're going to ask them, how do they rate their property, right? Okay, who wants to role play? The first part, the setup, setting it up. You got there, you're meeting them at the property. You're going to say, hey guys, welcome to the property. Before we go in, I just want to quickly tell you, how we're going to go about this, right? And you're going to tell them about the one to 10 scale. You're going to tell them that tens are going to be really rare. That's like the most perfect. Anything seven or higher means it meets most of your criteria. If it's not a seven, we shouldn't, you know, even spend time looking at it. If it's a seven or higher, then we should strongly consider, you know, moving forward on the property. So let's role play that. Raise your hand if you'd like to role play that real quick. I'll go. Let's go, Alessandro. Let's do it. Uh, okay. 
So I we, we just pulled up. I'm walking up to the door. You already introduced yourself. Hey, how's it going? And like, we're about to walk in. Hey, quick, real quick, before we walk in, I just want to kind of go over how we're going to do this. Go ahead. Hey, real quick, before we walk in, Enrique. So what we're going to do, oh, can, can somebody- Maybe you guys mute your computers. If you're in the office, hit mute on your computer so that it doesn't echo. Because you guys can hear her talking in the office already, right? So whoever's in the office with Alessandra, just hit the mute on your actual laptop. So what? So what we're gonna do, Enrique, is um, we're gonna. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, rate the houses from one to ten. 10 is being the best, you're, you're in love with the home. Um, seven and eight, it's, um, you, you still love the home. We're gonna, I don't know. so this, I'm just gonna say how I say it. Go ahead, say it how you say it. So that's good. As long as you hit the idea that we're trying to do. Hey Enrique, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I usually uh, like to rate the, uh, I tell my clients, we like to rate the homes from one to 10, 10 being the best. Um, so we're going to look at them. We're going to rate all of them. I don't know why I'm nervous, but that's how I see it. And then they'll be like, okay, great. And then, yeah. Okay. Let's try one more time. Remember, just pretend I'm the client. You say it in your own words, however you would say it. But the main point is you're going to tell them, Hey, we're going to rate it one to 10. 10 is the most perfect property you've ever seen. It's going to be rare that we see a 10 because there's not many 10s out there, but seven, eights, and nines means it meets most of your criteria. It's something that you would consider moving forward on, right? Hey, Enrique. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to rate the homes from one to 10, 10 being the best. Um, anything under five, we're just going to eliminate. You don't like, you don't like the home. We're just going to move forward. Um, and then at the end of the yeah. our tour, we're going to yeah. go over them again. Okay, perfect. There you go. So simple. You don't have to say it exactly like I do. That's the other thing too, right? As long as you get the point across of like, hey, this is what we're doing. You say it in your own words, but make sure you let them know that we're rating the homes and that anything that is a seven or higher, yeah. we, want, we want to move forward on those, right? Mm -hmm. If it's below a seven, then we should probably shouldn't even be, you know, spend time looking at it. So just say, hey, when you walk in, if this home's not at least a seven for you, let me know right away. This way we don't waste time and we could spend time on homes that you actually like, right? That's the main thing. All right, good job, Alessandra. Uh, let's go, someone else. We're just gonna go down the line. Dewey. Hi, Enrique. Uh, before we go in and actually take a look at the home, I would love to uh, uh, have you rate the home after the tour from the scale of one to 10. 10 being perfect, seven uh, from seven it being uh, is good. Eight as in uh, almost perfect, nine as in almost perfect, and ten as in perfect. So anything that's seven and below, we, we might uh, we might take a look at other homes just to compare. But uh, anything that's uh, seven or eight above, I would love to um, talk more and uh, uh, rate around that time. Uh, I don't know how to end it. <laughs> okay, so let me coach you on that real quick. So, so to make it simple, just say, hey, we're gonna rate it one to ten. Rate ten is the most perfect property you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. seven eight or nine anything seven or higher means the property works it meets most of your criteria and those mm -hmm. properties are the ones we want to focus on and we want to you know consider moving forward if it's below a seven let's just walk out the door and go somewhere else and go look at another one right so we don't want to waste time looking at anything below a seven so i would try to simplify it a little bit more do we so say it one more time hey enrique uh before we go in i would love to uh get a rating from you from one to 10, 10 as in perfect, seven to nine as in almost perfect. Uh, anything there, we'll, we'll love to uh, to put an offer into it. And anything from seven and below, uh, we'll probably don't like the home and we would love to go and see more home uh, that's similar to this. So uh, that would be the rating scale that I would uh, set up for this home. Okay. <laughs> Um, so one quick tip is maybe say, this is what we recommend, right? So, Hey, before we go in, before we go in and tour, this is what we recommend for our clients, right? And then you say, Hey, we're going to rate it from one to 10. 
right it's it's a subtle difference but what it shows is that you're not just saying hey this is what you got to do you're offering advice right so so try that one more time Dewey. before we go in here's what we recommend for our clients before we go in here's what i uh, we recommend to do for our client uh, we're rating from one to 10, 10 as in being perfect, from uh, seven or uh, seven to eight as in almost perfect, and anything below seven, uh, we'll probably scratch that and we're going to look for more home. Um, what Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes absolute sense. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Good job, Dewey. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's go. I need to see some of my newer guys on here. Uh, whoever's new, just starting to tour homes. I want to see you guys do this. Raise your hand if you've toured a home, if you've showed a home. All right. So I'll, I'll go. Who was that? Who was that? It's me, Kayla. Oh, Kayla. There you go. All right, Kayla, let's go. Here's what I recommend okay. before we go in. So, hey, real quick, before we walk into the home, what me and my team like to do is rate the home from one to 10. The number basically shows me that this home fits right within what your criteria Below anything seven basically indicates that this home isn't what you're looking for in a house and anything above seven is telling me what, telling me that this house does fit within what you're looking for in a home. This way it helps me better understand what you're looking for and help me try to avoid similar homes with down the line. Perfect, good, let's go. I had to type it up because I want to review it again and again and again. Yeah, I mean, say it in your own words right make it your own yeah. but as long as you get the point across of hey we're going to come we're coming in with a strategy here's what we recommend so that we don't waste time and we focus on homes that you actually like right we want to rate them all right good job let's go yeah. teddy teddy hey enrique uh before we tour this home what i recommend a lot of our clients is we rate the home from one to ten um, seven and above is something that you love, but it's something that you have to compromise. And then 10 is something this home is perfect and you would like to entertain an offer. Um, the reason we do this is so that we don't waste time and we can go ahead and tour another property that you might like better. Sounds fair? Yeah, sounds fair. Um, so yeah, that you said it great. The only thing I would just adjust is anything seven and above, these are homes that we want to consider moving forward on, right? So I think... I think you said only a 10 we want to move forward on. I don't know if I caught that right. So anything seven or above, we're moving forward on. We want to consider moving forward. Anything below a seven, we just want to scratch that. We don't want to waste time here. We want to go and, and find you more properties that, that meet your criteria. So try that one more time. Um, hey, Enrique, before we go ahead and tour this home, um, what I recommend a lot of my clients do is rate the home from one to 10. Seven and above is something that you would like to move forward on. Um, 10 being the home is perfect. And the reason is if it's not a seven, we, we shouldn't waste our, our time on it. Okay. And we could put that time towards? Uh, and, and we can put our times towards touring another home. Perfect. There we go. All right. Good job, Teddy. Just practice that, bro. Say it more. Practice saying it more times. Um, Angie, you want to try us? Uh, unmute yourself. All right. Yeah. All good. Okay. So, hey, Enrique. So, before we go in today, I just want to let you know I went ahead and made sure that this home matches your criteria. And what I would recommend for me at the end um, to hear back is just let me know how you're feeling about the home on a scale of one to 10. What I would like to do moving forward is um, show you homes that are seven or above. Uh, we might find a 10 out there, and I'd love to put an offer in from anything from a seven to a 10. Anything below seven to me is not worth showing you because I want to add value and show you homes that you're really excited about. Sound fair? Sounds fair. Sounds fair. Angie, my, my critique for you is simplify that a little bit. It was a little too wordy. And okay. so, gotcha. hey, before we tour the home, here's what I recommend for all my clients is we rate the home from one to 10. Anything seven or above, okay. these are homes that we want to strongly consider putting an offer on. If it's below a seven, Let's not even waste our time. Let's go find some more homes that, that fit your criteria. Okay. All right, go. All right. All right. Hey, Enrique. So after we view this home, I want you to go ahead and rate this home for me. Um, let's go to one to 10. Seven. Sorry. It's like, I hear uh, it Who needs to mute there? Who needs to mute? Whoever's sitting next to Angie, just mute your computer. 
I'm just gonna echo. If you're if you're close, okay, I think it's I think it's fixed. Yeah. All right, go. <clears throat> okay, cool. All right, Rike. So after this home tour, just go ahead and recommend for me um, how you. Let me start over. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Enrique, so what I would recommend at the end of this tour is you just let me know how you're feeling about this home on a scale of one to 10. And what I would recommend for most of my clients is um, if it's a seven and below, you know, I'm not going to waste your time in showing you properties. If it's seven and above, we're going to go ahead and tour some more properties for you. Does that make sense? Okay, let's get that one more time. So seven yeah. or above. <laughs> Before, yeah. we, before we go in, here's what I recommend, right? Anything that's okay. set, we're going to rate it one to 10. Anything that's a seven or above, we're going to strongly consider moving forward. If it's seven or okay. higher, we consider moving forward. If it's below seven, let's not waste time. Let's go, let's go find something else. All right. Okay. So simplify it. Say, say it like, a, it. like you're explaining to a three-year-old, right? Okay. All right. Hey, Enrique, so on a scale of one out of 10, just let me know how you're feeling about this home. If it's a seven or below, then I know moving forward not to show you these properties anymore. If it's a seven or above, we'll continue to look at more properties. Sound fair? No, we don't want to continue to look at more. We want to consider moving forward. On consider moving forward? Yeah, we want to put, put an offer on anything that's a seven or above. These are homes that we want to potentially write an offer on, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Start off with seven or above instead of seven or below. Start off seven or above. If it's a seven or above, we consider putting an offer on this. If it's below a seven, let's scratch it. So do it. You got to want to do it in that order. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> hey, Enrique, so at the end, just let me know how you're feeling about this home. If um, on a scope of one to 10, if it's a seven or above, let's go ahead and put an offer in. If it's seven or below, let's just not even look at those homes. Does that sound fair to you? Yeah, sounds fair. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Work on that, Angie. Keep practicing this so it becomes smooth, but you got you got the gist of it. Got All it. right, let's go, let's go one more. Who wants to try this? <clears throat> let's hear a veteran. Thomas, let's hear you do it, bro, because you show a lot of homes, but I want I want you to say this in your own words. All good. Hey, Enrique, uh, prior to viewing this home, man, I want you to kind of consider some things here. So usually what uh, my clients find useful is that we, we scale this home or rate this home between a one to 10. So anything a six and below, I want to make sure that you let me know so I never show you any of these homes again. Anything a seven or above, I highly consider, I highly suggest that we sit down and consider possibly placing an offer on this property. Um, how does that sound? Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. Awesome, man. Let's go and take a look at it. All right, good. So now you set the stage, right? Like I want you to, to, to see this, right? You now are going to walk into the home and now they're thinking in their mind, I got to rate this home one to 10, you know? And then at the end, you're going to come back to them. So now you can push them in a certain direction because you've already set the rules. You set the ground rules for them. All right. So now next scenario that we're going to role play is you showed the home. Now you're, you're ending the showing and now you're going to say, hey, all right, really quick. Uh, just wanted to get some feedback from you and also tell you a little bit about us, right? And I want you to do it like in two minutes. Tell me like who you are, why you're here, what your team is all about, what your goal is. Tell them about the market really quick, right? And then now you're going to ask them, okay, on a scale of one to 10, what do we think this property is, right? And you want to keep it just short and concise, right? Like, hey, this is, this is who I am. This is how long we've been in the business. This is what my goal is with my clients. This is our team has this many reviews. Um, and then here's what's happening in the market right now, right? It's a quick summary of what's going on and who you are. All right, who wants to try to role play that real quick? All right, I'm gonna role play it first and then I want you guys to follow, all right? So I showed the home and uh, let's say I showed Angie, Angie the home. All right, Angie, hey, um, hey, awesome. Um, I'm glad we got to tour this home. Just really quick, I wanna do a quick recap with you. Um, just wanna tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in the business for over 20 years. My team and I have sold you know, thousands of homes throughout the Bay Area. We have over 500 five-star reviews. And I tell you that because it's really important that you know that you're working with a, you know, a good agent. Uh, my goal is to make sure that I inform you, that I give you great service, and that I help you find the right home for you. Um, and really quick, just telling you what's happening in the market. Right now in the market, we're seeing the competition is starting to, to heat up. We're seeing a lot more offers on property. So if we do find a home that we like, it's important that we go ahead and move fast. Right now, we talked about rating this home on a 1 to 10. 
So give me some honest feedback. Where does this home fit on a scale of one to 10? Right? And that's what I would do, right? And then go ahead, tell me one to 10. Uh, honestly, Enrique, this home's like a seven to me. Okay, a seven. Okay, so seven, what we talked about is it does meet some of your criteria. Maybe there's a few compromises. Okay, is there anything that's a deal breaker on this home for you? Yeah, I prefer a larger kitchen and it's a little bit uh, far away from my job. Okay, got it. So um, do you think this is something we should try to move forward on? Like, because I usually recommend seven or higher, maybe we consider writing an offer. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with this home. Um, maybe I'd like to compare first and see more okay. homes. Okay, cool. So here's what I recommend then. Um, let me pull up, now that I kind of know what you're looking for, let me, I'm gonna, let's set a time to go look at some more homes. So now I'm going to that option. Um, are you available tomorrow around the same time to go tour a few more properties? Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at a few more. And once we identified a few that, that are in this criteria, then we could decide which one we want to move forward on. Does that sound fair? Sounds fair. Okay, great. Boom. Now I got my appointment for the next next meeting, right? Because yeah. if it's a seven and it's, it was kind of right on the line, then I'm not really pushing like, let's move forward, right? If it was like an eight or a nine, then I'm like, hey, look, if this is an eight or a nine, that means it means it checks most of the boxes. So I highly recommend we we sit down and look at, you know, making an offer. So let's set a time to meet. We're going to go over the process. We're going to go over the disclosures and we're going to see what would be a good offer for this home. Right. So that's now me pushing them to move forward. Right. With this home. All right. Um, who wants to try to role play that real quick? Let's go. Let's go. All right, Angie, let's go. All right. <clears throat> All right, Enrique. So tell me how you felt about this home today. Um, yeah, honestly, like, yeah, this home, like on a one to ten, I'd say it's like an eight, eight or a nine. Like it, it it's pretty nice. I think it I think it could work. Awesome. Let me ask you this. Why isn't it a 10 for you? Um I mean, it would be a 10 if it just had like a little bit bigger backyard, but honestly, it, it's okay. it's pretty decent. So if it had like a fixed up backyard, then that, that would probably be a 10 for me. But I think it's a pretty nice property. Gotcha. So what I would recommend next is for us to make an offer on the home. Um, something like a backyard, like you were saying, I feel like I could take a few pictures and send them over to a contractor to see maybe how we can expand um, the property or make some renovations for you. Um, how does that sound to you? Um. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, let me stop you, um, Angie. So okay. <laughs> before you move me forward to writing an offer, I want you to quickly mm -hmm. tell me about who you are, what you do, your team and stuff. Because this way, once you tell me, let's move forward with the offer, you already kind of sold me on who you are, right? So not the yeah. other way around. So first say, hey, all right, let's recap really quick. I wanted just to tell you a little bit more about us. Can tell you what's going on in the market. Give me like the, the, the one or two minute like summary on who you are, who your team is, on track record and what your goal is. Enrique, can I say something? Um, I feel like at that point, like wouldn't we have already had like the buyer's consultation and went over like who we are and what we do? I just want to know like, why would we um, during like the showing kind of tell them again, like if they're already working with me, why would I tell them like who I am? Oh, this is Zillow Flex, my bad. <laughs> yeah, if this is Zillow Flex, you met them for the first time, right? Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now, if you already met with them on a buyer consult, then you're going to skip that part and you're going to go straight to, let's, you know, the one to 10. But if this is your first time meeting them, you have to impress them, right? So yeah, let's, of assume okay. that, let's assume this is the first time I ever met you, Angie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, hey, Enrique, so uh, just a quick recap, you know, thanks for meeting with me today. Um, so what I would, so what I do for my buyers is I help a lot of families in the Bay Area from all over, and I'm with PRG Real Estate. We're a team out in the Bay Area, mainly in San Jose, and we have over 500 five-star reviews on um, on um, Zillow. Online. Yeah, online. <laughs> on Zillow, and we're also a part of, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know, I kind of am just like stuck right there. So then maybe keep it more simple, right? Just maybe tell me what you're all about okay. and how you want to and how you want to help your clients, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Enrique. So just a quick recap about myself. Um, Angeline can call me Angie. Um, 
So what I've been able to do um, prior years is help families like yourself get into homes um, all over the Bay Area. I'm a part of a team called PRG Real Estate. We're brokered by EXP. And if you were to look online at our um, resume, we've helped over se uh, several families the last 18 years in the Bay Area. Okay. Now, now tell me what, what's your mission or how, what kind of service do you want to give to your clients or what's your goal when you work with the client? Yeah, my mission for every client is to help them find the home of their dreams and help them and their family build generational wealth. And if you have any questions um, with real estate, I'm here any time or day. Okay. Now quickly tell me about the market, like in one sentence, like what's happening in the market? Yeah, right now the market, it's heating up. Um, summertime is just around the corner. A lot of interested buyers are hitting the market and taking tours just like yourself. Um, we have a lot of negotiating power as buyers at the moment. It's not going to last for too long. So I recommend, you know, when you do find a home you love, we go ahead and put an offer in. Okay, great. Now, now ask me about how I rate the home, <laughs> right? Yeah, with that being said, Enrique, how do you feel about this home? Um, on a scale of one to 10, yeah, I rate this home probably at eight or a nine. Eight or nine, okay, great. And so next, what I would like to do is put an offer in. Um, why isn't this home a 10 for you? Um, I wouldn't ask that. I wouldn't ask why it's not a 10 because I think, I think you want to care. Like if they, if I say it's eight or nine, like, Hey, great. Sure. You know, I think we should maybe, um, what I recommend is we maybe talk about this home a little more in detail and see what it would be like to put an offer on it because you already had me on like on a positive role. And then if you ask why it's yeah. not, then you're taking me kind of a step back. So okay. I wouldn't recommend asking why it's not, um, Gotcha. Yeah, I, unless I volunteered that information. But remember, you're leading the conversation, right? So lead it yeah. towards let's meet and talk putting about an offer in. Yeah, we should meet and talk about putting an offer, right? We should see what that would look like to put an offer on this home and what, you know, what sort of price and terms we would recommend, right? Okay. All right. Gotcha. So, Angie, I think you got the, the gist of it. Yeah. Just keep, keep practicing that. And what I want you guys to do is, Think in your head, like, right, if you can quickly summarize who you are, what you do, what your team is all about, and what your mission is when you help clients, like, that's your elevator pitch, right? That works in any scenario, whether you meet someone at a barbecue, on the phone, if you can say, hey, let me quickly tell you about my team and I, this is my mission when I help clients, you're showcasing, like, what you're all about, right? So it's, it's important to be able to just have that in your mind already, so you can use that anywhere. Um, okay, let's go. Who wants to go next? We got, we'll take one more. Who's showing a home today? Juan, Alessandra, Teddy, Kayla, any of you guys showing home today? Brenda, are you showing a home today? No. no. Okay, Brenda, let, I'm going to put you on the spot. Let's go. Summarize this for me. Okay, let's go ahead and recap. We showed the home, now let's recap. Let me quickly you know, tell you about me. Um, okay. Um, wait, so this is the moment like when after we've toured the home already, so they've already taken a look at everything and um, okay. So this is, is this like a Zillow flex, a Zillow flex? Yeah. You met them for the first time, right? You, you met them for the first time. You showed them that first home. Now you're, you're leaving the house and you're, you're at the driveway, right? Yeah. And you want to just quickly recap and I want you to give me the, the one minute who you are and then ask me how we're going to rate this one and what you recommend. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. <laughs> I have to like imagine this moment. Um, so just to recap. So I would always say, Hey, so, so, Hey, Enrique, just to recap, you know, I want to tell you a little bit about, about me and my team. Right. Okay. So just to recap Enrique, I want to tell you a little bit about me and my team. Um, I'm on uh, PRG Real Estate. We're brokered by EXP Realty. Um, PRG has been um, around for 20 plus years. We've closed over 700 transactions and 500 transactions on Zillow. And we have about, or we have over 300 five-star reviews on Zillow. And so my goal here is to offer you the best service, give you the best advice and find you your dream home. Um, and since we've taken a look at this property, um, can you give me a rating? What do you think about this home? Um, can you rate it between one and 10? Anything under seven is going to mean that you're not interested. Seven to 10 means that you're super interested and you want to make, you want to move forward and make an offer on the home. Okay. Cool. I think you hit it. You hit all the points, Brenda. 
the only thing you got to do now is just practice that so you can say it confidently right yeah um, I, I but, think it's like I think it's because I'm being put on the spot that I'm like feeling this like nervous energy but like really when I'm out there I feel really confident like talking to them I'm really like I'm more personable okay perfect yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and putting you on the spot, right? Like this is this is all for practice, guys, right? This is where we practice right here. We practice here so that when we go out there, we already have it ingrained and it comes off smooth. So I like that you um you quickly told us who you are. You could even shorten that, right? Like so it's not mm -hmm. so wordy. Like I would say, hey guys, just to quickly tell you about me, I've been in the business for X amount of years. My team and I have helped hundreds of clients. We have hundreds of five-star reviews online. And my goal when I help you is to make sure you get the best service, we find you the best home, and we get you the best deal possible, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. I didn't have to go into the details of exactly how many sales or exactly how many reviews, like no one really cares about that. If mm -hmm. you just say hundreds, then that's it. Like we have hundreds of five-star reviews, we've helped hundreds of clients just like you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so try to keep it simple so that you don't like fumble words, right? I think that's, a, that's some advice I can give you guys. Just simplify it. Yeah, I mean, I normally don't come out the gate saying, yo, my team's closed like 700, you know, transactions, 700 yeah. homes. But I mean, like just for the purpose of this training, I am mentioning it. Yeah, that's fine. But just some advice, right? So when you go out there, I don't want you to overcomplicate it and then like you fumble it, right? Just keep it simple. You know, our team's been around for 20 plus years. We've helped hundreds of clients. We have hundreds of five-star reviews online, right? And then my goal when I help you is... Boom, 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 right? This is what this is what I'm here for. To find you the best deal. Find you the best deal, give you the best service, give you the best advice, right? Yep. Because um, now you're speaking the language of what people want, right? Like everyone wants the best deal. They want the best advice. They want the best service, right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't say that, then they don't know like if that's what you bring to the table. Yeah. Right? I, I always make it a point to say, I'm going to find you the best deal on the home that you love. Yeah. Like that's what I'm here for. Awesome. Okay. All right, cool, guys. Um, was this helpful today? All right, so I want you guys to immediately start implementing this strategy, right? You may not be doing exactly this. Maybe you got to add some pieces, but use that scale of one to 10. And then at the end, you want to just quickly recap, break it down for them, who you are, what you do, and why you're here, and then go into how do we want to rate this property. And then from there, you decide, do I go to show more homes? Do we go for an offer consultation or do we go for a maybe a buyer consultation and meet with the lender, right? You're now taking it to the next step because you set it up this way, All right? Uh, good stuff, guys. Practice this. It's not going to come overnight. You have to practice it and make it your own, right? But get the main points across. So let me know if you guys need anything and uh, we'll see you soon, guys. Thank you. Peace.